What's going on guys, Mitch here, and today we're taking a look at a couple chains that I was able to snag on Black Friday uh, for the Tarmac SL8. Um, you guys have probably seen me go through uh, the entire kind of gauntlet of SRAM Red products over the last little while, and when I switched to the 12-speed uh, Durace on the SL8, it kind of dawned on me, you know, I don't have any backup chains. So, decided uh, to pick one up locally in town here, a couple couple chains just to have on the shelf in case of any issues, and I figured, you know what, it'd be a good opportunity to show you the chains, uh, read off some of the features online that it kind of talks about what it probably means in the real world, and uh, kind of wrap things up on that. Uh, it is the off-season now, so there's going to be a little bit more of these types of stuff. So, uh, to get started, let's look at the chains, and then we'll get into the quick links that they need themselves. But uh, here we go. So this is the CNM9100, and I, I know Shimano stuff can be a little confusing. Uh, 9100 is actually their XTR uh, slash 12-speed Dura-Ace chain. So nothing too crazy. Uh, it has a host of features, and you can kind of see on the back here uh, some of them. I guess this is the quick link, so they're saying it's not reusable. But... Um, I was kind of surprised that they didn't actually come out with this and call it the uh, M9200 to kind of go in line with the rest of the Dura stuff. Obviously we're, we're looking at a couple different options here, 116L versus 126L, that's the number of links, and, uh, and my oh my, they actually talk about, right on the box here, a couple different applications for this chain, everything from cross country to enduro, e-bike, and I want to stress this, when they recommend a product for e-bike, it's going to really be put through the paces in that application just from a sheer torque perspective and a higher wattage output. So when they rate it for e-bike use, you know that it's a good product, okay? Um, so let's take this out of the box. I'm not gonna do both, but we'll take it out. They're usually in a little bag or something. And then we can look at the chain a little closer. And uh, man, oh man, you can just see the wax inside that. So I'm not, I'm not gonna bother opening this, but um, nonetheless, we can at least look at the chain itself, look at some of the characteristics, and see if we, uh, if we like it. So there you go. So some of the features on this guy we're going to get into here. Let's take a look. So, uh, designed for Shimano's revolutionary XTR 12-speed uh, MTV group set, or 12-speed road. Um, the new chain features quick link assembly and sill tech treatment for extended durability. So I don't know what the sill tech is. I'm guessing silicone technology, if I were to guess. But I did see that written on the box, I think, right here. There we go. Sill tech. Uh, so I'd love to know what that is, but I'm sure it's silicone technology for the chain. Some kind of polish that's put into it. Um, smoother uh, driving, even over bumpy terrain, blah, blah, who cares about that. Uh, greater chain retention to extend portion on the end of inner plate to firmly hold the tooth, both front and cassette sprocket. So greater chain retention to extend portion on the end of inner plate. On the end of inner plate, I guess there's a high wear part for them. So that's kind of cool. Um, enhanced shifting performance. Well, I'm going to be honest, they all enhance, claim enhanced shifting performance. Uh, compatible new generation drivetrain, which is cool. Easy connect, quick assembly, and tool available. So, aka, get a pair of pliers for the quick link. Non reusable. So, when we talk non reusable, uh, that would be talking about this, the quick links here. And uh, what what kind of happens is you get when you push these two pin, uh, links together, you get a pin on one side, and it kind of starts to wear out the other side as you use them. You, you know, and you can let's let's be honest, you can use them more than once. It's just not, you know, very highly suggested. So, you know, guys who uh, typically wax their chain over and over and uh, are taking chains on and off and on and off, they'll be the best ones to, to kind of give you advice on, like, hey, dude, how long do you use your quick links for and how many times do you reuse them? Um, they probably have a bit of a formula. And from my understanding, reading on Reddit, you know, a couple times, not a big problem. Um, but anything over than that, you're kind of risking kind of shitty shifting performance. Um, let's take a look at this link, may as well take a look, at least show you in person. Oh, it's two sets, that's cool. So there's, uh, there's your 12-speed link. And what I'll do here, just because I, uh, I did recently have a breakdown, I'm going to throw this right into the saddlebag. You should always carry a quick link for the chain that, uh, 
you have on your bike. That's a Pro, Pro Mitch on two wheels tip. So that's cool. I didn't know it came with two. But anyway, a uh, bunch of manuals and we're not going to go into that. And there should be a directional arrow on it. There you go. So it will say, you know, if you're looking at the chain from the front, that's the way it's got to go on the top. And that's usually a lineup of the actual links themselves, kind of not being, uh, for being off center. So there you go. And I'm assuming, assuming there's one of those inside here, which is what that non-reusable thing that we shown on the box earlier. So there you go. Got a couple extra quick links. I'm stoked on that. This box is ridiculously oversized for what's inside it. Complete waste, but uh, that's fine. Okay, well that is it. There's your uh, Dura-Ace 12-speed fancy high technology um, chain. And you can kind of see actually it's cool. They actually break it down right here. Or, sorry, that way on how... Uh, I guess there is a rotational side to it. So when they were talking earlier about how there's an inner and an outer link, if we just take a look, which one's inner and which one's outer, I actually have no idea, but I bet if I look at that picture, I'll know pretty quick. Super cool. I always love directional stuff. It just means that uh, things are going to work better, honestly. And I'll put this extra link. Tuck that away. Okay guys, well there's a quick overview of the Shimano 12-speed chain, I uh, or the CN M9100 with Siltec. And if there's any questions, leave them below. Um, you know, I, I like doing these kind of casual coffee shop style conversa conversations with you guys just to kind of go over product that uh, is floating around the office here. And uh, a couple of these chains are currently one of them. So there you go, there's your Shimano chain. And uh, hopefully we'll have another project to work on here shortly and uh, kind of pick things up over winter. Alright guys, have a good one. Talk soon. Peace.